Vermont is expecting to receive about $2 billion in support from the more than $2 trillion coronavirus relief package making its way through Congress. Local 22's Brittany Weir has more on how that money will be split. She is live tonight in Winooski. Brittany? Yes, Lauren, since the governor's stay home, stay safe order, most businesses around Vermont have had to close. This means that small business owners aren't making an income. Well, the federal government decided to do something about this, and the Senate passed the largest emergency aid package in U.S. history. The CARES Act is a response to the severe damage our economy is facing in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic. There's real income support for people who are staying home from work <clears throat> to comply uh, with the stay at home orders that we're all living under. Vermont Congressman Peter Welch says individuals could receive up to $1,200 if they make less than $75,000 a year, with an additional $500 for every child in the house. Small businesses, they're so important in Vermont. Uh, and most people in Vermont work paycheck to paycheck for small employers. Welch says small businesses will be able to get loans that turn into grants if they spend that money on keeping their employees. There's checks that are going to be going out, hopefully in about uh, two weeks. That's what Secretary Mnuchin says. When it comes to unemployment benefits, Vermonters will be able to get an extra $600 per week in addition to what they already get from the state. Those are the things that are going to really make a difference for individuals who are contending with having to stay at home and all the disruption that goes along with our response. The bill will also provide Vermont with $20 million for public transportation, $5.4 million to support public health, and $4.7 million in community development. Revenues are way down in Vermont, tax receipts, but expenses are way up. So the federal government is going to help the states out. We're trying to avoid shifting the burden of this onto state taxpayers and individual uh, taxpayers. During his daily news conference, Burlington Mayor Moreau Weinberger said that he knows the bill appears to be a good first step. For today, for this week, uh, it, it does seem to me to be a far-reaching um, bill that does a lot of, a lot of good. The only thing that's really enough is we go back to normal. That's really the challenge because it's not just a matter of getting money. It doesn't make up for that absence all of us feel when we can't be in our normal life. The bill will go to the House next, and they are set to vote on it Friday, and it is predicted that it will pass. Live in Winooski, Brittany Weir, Local 22 News.